Good to see you. It's Jonathan Agra, FIFA Pro Boxing fans, joined by the quote Caressa Shields here in London. We've just done the Savannah Marshall press conference, September 10th. Caressa, welcome to the UK. Uh, how did you find the press conference? It got heated at times. I think we expected that for such a big fight like this. She wanted to play it cool and everything, but but I but I definitely thought that she would have more have more fire too. But um, she wasn't about that like she is on the internet. I think she's very very timid around me. That she's a little bit frightened. I feel like this has become personal between you two. Is that the case from your end? A little bit of both, but I just really don't like her. You know, I, I don't like her attitude. I don't like how she tries to treat a 12-time world world a champ, somebody who's accomplished triple of what she has. And she just, she just talks a whole lot and haven't really done nothing. And I don't really like that. In some ways, though, do, do you like having uh, an opponent giving you the back and forth does it motivate you even more in training camp to win this fight? Have you ever have you ever felt as motivated for a fight like this? I mean, Christina Hammer talked way more stuff than Savannah Marshall. I'm just being real with you. She talked way more, way more crap. But it's like, also, Hammer didn't have any history with me. So it's like the history of all these years that I've been doing so great and I've been doing so well. I kind of feel like Savannah Marshall has been living off my name. And if I just would have been a bum and after she beat me in 2012 and I wouldn't have won the Olympics and I wouldn't have won the world championships and then I won the Olympics twice, that no one would know about her either. You know, because I would have been just another average fighter. But the fact that I pushed myself to be great and that I worked so hard and that I took on some of the biggest fights, now I am the greatest woman of all time. Nobody would, everybody cares about this fight because of what I've done. You fought in the UK before. How much, and you've uh, done punditry work in the UK, how much does that prepare you, if at all, for fighting in front of UK fans, which are probably going to support Savannah Marsh? No, we're going to have a lot of USA fans in the house. I think the UK, that they better get, they, get their tickets early. If they feel like it's going to be all UK fans. They're sadly mistaken because America's going to come out for this one. But um, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy that I've gotten so big in my career that I could fight in another country and have the respect here and be being paid great. And uh, I'm just ready for this fight. What do you say to when Savannah said, said after her last fight that you, you won't be able to handle her power? What do you say to that? I mean, she got to have some kind of way in her mind she feels she's going to win, but that's the only way. And, and how do you think this fight goes from your end? Do you think you can go in and stop her? Do you think you'll outbox her? I think I can hurt Savannah Marshall. I think I can uh, TKO her. And I think I can make her, and I think I can make Peter, uh, Peter Fury throw in a towel. And, um, you know, you've achieved so much in the game. If you win this fight, three-time undisputed champion, oh, no one can really say that. But what else do you have on sort of you know, list of things to do. I know you're going to go back to the MMA, but in terms of boxing, are there other fights you want? Uh, the Cruz deserve maybe the rematch. I know you get on with her, but could you get down to 147 for McCaskill? What, what else do you have? I would a fight against, uh, I think the biggest fight in women's boxing after this fight with men's battle Marshall could be me and French on Cruz, two, two undisputed champions going at it. Um, That'd be a great fight. I think um, if they wanted to pay me the right amount of money to fight against Jessica McCaskill, I would, but I don't think she really wants smoke. I think it's all just bark with her. And uh, I'm trying to think. Never know. Probably go up to one, probably go up to one to uh, to 175 and be a four division world world uh, world a champion and fight against the champions there. And any final message to Savannah Marshall, the UK fans, what are we in for on September 10th on Sky Sports? I'm sorry to the UK fans, all y'all that support Savannah Marshall, but I'm coming to make the whole country mad. I'm, I am, I am, I'm, I'm about to piss y'all off. September 10th, y'all gonna love me, but deep down inside you're gonna be like, ugh, we need to build up somebody else to beat her because I'm about to beat the mess out of Savannah Marshall. Let me just get one more opinion from you on a big fight coming up. Joshua against Usyk. I know you get on well with Joshua. Do you think he's going to do it? Do you think he can get revenge over Usyk in the rematch? I think that Anthony Joshua is the comeback king. I think that uh, when he loses and then he, and, and then he has to fight against that opponent again, he comes back with the vengeance. I believe that he can win. And uh, I'm just going to be excited to watch. I hope that he comes back with the right game plan for sure. Professor, thanks to Tungsbury Boxing fans. Look forward to you back here on September 10th.